Hello, my name is Kelly Sams. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Norbert Elias Center in Marseille, France, and contributing faculty for Walden University in the US. I'd like to say a few words about my paper, which is titled Engaging Conceptions of Identity in a Context of Medical Pluralism, Explaining Treatment Choices for Everyday Illness in Niger. The purpose of this paper is to explore how people explain their choice of medications to treat conjunctivitis, which is a very common illness in the village where this research took place. Studying how individuals conceptualize the substances that we use to prevent and treat illness is a long-standing interest of the social sciences, and this is especially relevant um, in places where medications are available through many different sources and medical systems. In this article, I present the results of field work that I carried out in a small rural village uh, of about 100 households in the south of Niger. Research was conducted during one year uh, as part of my PhD thesis research. This is a community that I know well and where I've worked on and off since the late 1990s. The results presented in this paper come from data collected during almost 50 in-depth interviews with adults living in households with young children because young children are the group that are the most affected by conjunctivitis. Interviews were also conducted with specialists who sell or prescribe medications. Kauri, the village where this research took place, has many different curative substances available from different sources to treat conjunctivitis. Everyone interviewed reported using medicines from several different sources and um, several different medical systems. These included industrial biomedical treatments, uh, which were available at the local health center and from NGOs that frequently came to the village, and also um, from informal vendors or at the market. And this also included treatments that were available through Islamic medicine and uh, also local, lo local uh, plant-based medications. So the question that I'm interested in exploring here is in this context of medical pluralism with so many different types of treatments available, how people explain their treatment decisions. Of course, these decisions are also influenced by other things, um, by price, availability, and social context. It's not only how people uh, think of, of, of the treatments that they're taking. However, it's, it's important to understand how people explain their treatment or choices in order to gain insight to the representations that surround different types of medications. Having an improved understanding of these representations and perceptions can have an applied value for programs that strive to increase or decrease the use of certain treatments, and also for manufacturers trying to market their products. Uh, this is in addition to um, scholarly research, which is interested in understanding how representations are constructed and how they circulate and how they impact um, the different health choices. The key themes that emerged from this research all had to do with identity. People framed their medication use in terms of what type of people they perceived themselves to be. However, these identities weren't fixed. Different types of treatment were seen to highlight different aspects of sometimes paradoxical identities. Three main types of identities were drawn upon to explain medication choices. First, membership in a globalized world. Secondly, medications as part of cultural heritage, and lastly, medications as symbolizing religious affiliation. If you're interested in reading examples of how these types of identity were engaged and also seeing some photos, please read my article in the Sociology of Health and Illness. Thank you.